What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to use parental controls to limit the usage of applications on your iOS device. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. Open up your settings application. Here, select screen time. You can preview your device's daily or weekly usage, as well as the most used applications. Under downtime, you can set a schedule during which you can allow someone to use the device. During the downtime, you can also allow a limited range of apps to be used. You can also add custom limits for certain applications. Under App Limits, select Add Limit. And then you can select categories of apps or individual applications. Set a daily limit or customize which days the application can be used on devices which are signed into the same Apple ID. When going back, you can also set communication limits. Here, when the screen time is allowed, you can allow communication through phone, FaceTime and messages to everyone, contacts and groups with at least one contact or to contacts only. During screen downtime, you can choose to allow the device to only communicate with specific contacts or to everyone. The always allowed settings let you set up contacts and apps which are always allowed to use. When setting the contacts option to specific contacts, then you will have to select those from your contact list. The last settings, content and privacy restrictions, can, as the title suggests, restrict the usage of certain services or apps. You could, for example, restrict users from installing apps or making purchases. You can disable the wallet application or restrict web content, such as limit adult websites. Lastly, I suggest setting up a screen time passcode, which serves as an admin tool to lift some limits if you ever need to on this device. If you enable the Share Across Devices option, then all of your synced iCloud devices will have the same screen time restrictions. You could also set up screen time options for your family by adding a child and setting its device settings from your main device. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.